hello welcome back to my channel the world according to Lisa today I'm going to do a review which I was asked to do a review by I'll uh, put her name bef below um, for the friends on Instagram she also makes YouTube videos but on my three lipsticks um, by the lipstick queen which is a Australian well she used to be an Australian beauty designer she was very famous poppy king for making matte lipsticks so today uh, like I said to my friend that asked me to do this review uh, I'm not in any way shape or form a beauty guru so um, like Lisa D on here who is adorable and is great about talking about makeup uh, so today this is her metal the metal collection they come in three you buy it as in a pack I pretty much think that's how you buy it in a pack um, that's how I got it anyway off the Mecca which is an Australian company so what I find very handy about these lipsticks is that the color is also on the bottom so Get that that reflection right there you go I'm filming right near my window uh, of my desk and where I put my makeup on so if you're in a rush not only is the name on the bottom but the color so normally um, Poppy King's lipsticks I think she went broke and someone bought her out because I realized <clears throat> that these are made in Canada which I thought was interesting um, because she used to make them in Australia so I don't know if she's sold out I really should have googled but anyway so this particular color is the nude metal so I will swatch them I've been wearing them for quite a while now they're quite good go-to lipsticks um, you don't have to worry about a lip liner things like that that you can kind of just put them on and go I would have thought that was my favorite um, because I love a nude as you can see I'm wearing one today but it's not coming up too well there but it's kind of like a pinky tone so that's the metal uh, sorry nude metal then there's two similar colors the red metal and the wine metal so we'll do the red metal first which is that one so you can see if they have particles in them that make them a little bit um, metallic looking I suppose that was the effect she was going for most of her lipsticks like I said used to be very matte they were no way shape or form have anything else in them so this is very different for her I'm not sure if the other ones are still available I would like to try and get them because they're such long lasting so this now this one here is the wine metal and this one is my favorite one and I could wear it a lot I find it stays on the best I would have thought also that these two would have been my favorite that one with the more ready undertones this one has more violet tones to it and I find this one is more striking on me I think I wore it yesterday in my video but yeah they're, they're very interesting lipsticks I mean I'm really enjoying using them they are a lot um, sorry they're, they're less fuss like you could just put it on you don't have to put them on perfectly so I find if I put a lipstick on I really have to like put a put a gloss before then my lipstick or the liner and then a gloss afterwards or something so that's the three lipsticks this is just a little short review on them so that particular one is the wine metal <coughs> This one is the red metal 
and that one was the nude the nude metal yeah so yeah so if you want to go online and try and find them I have seen them at Nordstrom's and different um, sites and once again she's called the lipstick queen and it comes in cute packaging yeah so that's it hope you enjoyed this review and let me know if you'd like me to do any more makeup reviews or I'm gonna um, I've been tagged to do the eight most usable wearable things in your wardrobe so I will probably film that very soon okay thank you bye